Look at that thing. I mean, look at her. I am telling you, friends. Can even just this thing? <laughs> So, so friends, here's the deal. Good morning to you. Morgan just showed up. He is like a freaking dog on a bone right now with this, <laughs> with this. He doesn't, I, I'm kind of convinced it's timing change. But what do I know? I'm a tree guy. Morgan is here. He had some big projects. He was he had to wrap up first down where he, where he's at, and now he's back. And it looks like he's got a couple things he wants to show me here, friends. Uh, a couple of nice things. Just, One looks like it. Just your something from your world. Something from my world. So anyway, we just had an oven dropped off, and there's some stuff down the driveway that's not good. These fellas. Anyways, Morgan. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you again. Now. What excites me right off the hop is that one close to the, the cab wall there, the side of the box. This one or this one? Yeah. Okay. Is that a 66? I have no idea really. I, you know, like it's it's just a saw that um, my uncle owned. Yeah. And he, he passed away, so I, I, got, I ended up with it. Yeah. And uh, I haven't been using it uh -huh. only because the chain is pretty pretty much done. And then this one, this this is the, remember that saw I said came yes, with the truck? Yes, yes. This, this one here. So I've been using this one and it, it's, pull, pull it up I mean, there. You, what, what? You, you look at it. Oh, so yeah, it's a Shindawa. Yeah. Yeah. They make great products, brother. And really, I mean, does it look like this? If I know the 66s, no, oh, this could be a little worn. Yeah, that's not that's not like the '66s I know. They usually got a, a fair bit of compression, so she could be worn a bit. But like you say, uh, it hasn't run in a while. Well, that's uh, um, then I was messing around with the jets. <laughs> I leaned it out too much. You did, didn't and you? It was just screaming, cutting the wood, and then it started rawr, rawr, and it just seized up. So. So I, I um, you know, I'm a mechanic, so I. I, I started taking it apart, yeah. but at the time I was working full time, yeah. you know, and I thought, no, I'm just going to, so I dropped it off at the, the guy, the sticker there. These guys. Island Saw. Yeah, there. Island Saw. He's Dino a friend of mine. I yeah. went to school with him. Yeah. And so they fixed it for me. So he put a, a so, well, they, piston. They, they put a piston in it. Okay. So I like this saw. It just doesn't have a lot of power. No, and and that's why you've got to be super super sharp with those. It's a backyard saw, right? Yeah, but yeah. do you need a little a little uh, warm up on your power saw sharpening? Well, yeah. I mean, I I think I do a pretty good job, but I don't have a raker gauge. Oh yeah, so. and you've got you've got safety chain there. So, yeah. but you look like you got it not bad there. I, I filed the rakers a bit the other day. So yeah, it looks like, oh, you, you seem like you're doing okay. The corner's been knocked off this. Did you use this or have you? I've used it. Yeah. Since you filed yeah. it. Yeah, you can see that. Now, this thing here, friends. <laughs> it's a little vintage, right? It looks like an 81. That's got or, a lot oh, of no, fun. maybe it's a CD, a CD. Oh, no, it is. It's a, oh. Now, <clears throat> just a minute here now. Right here, right here. No, it's gone. Okay, so uh, what we gotta do, friends, is we gotta. We know this runs. Yeah, I was just using that yesterday. Let's see if we can pop that off and see. And just see if maybe it's not bad. Proctor. <clears throat> see this all that stuff friends it's important to get that out of there just every time you're finished using your saw just give it a zap there clean okay now this is what i like to do when i'm when i just start looking at these saws i don't like that thing we want to check for spark there's an easy way to do it Sounds 
tight this thing does. So that's good. Yeah. Start thing. You just, just put your foot on it and pull I just, on it? I just kneel on them. Yeah. yeah. Fire it up? Let's hear it. Oh yeah, I love the sound of those actually. <laughs> They got compression, don't they? Okay, it's time to do a voiceover. Nana, do you want to say hi to everybody? Sure. Hi, folks. Haven't seen you for a while, but you're always in my mind. There you go. That's Nana. She's over. It's Saturday, friends, and Nana's come for coffee, and me and the wife, and we're sitting here, and, and I'm just piddling around with this video for you. Um, so me and Morgan, he's got this this thing going here, and, and this is a perfect example to show you guys, gals, women, and children, this thing just fired up, but you'll notice the, the homeowner fella or whatever, just the weekend where he'll fire up a saw and the chain will start racing and it doesn't matter to them, even though it is dangerous, especially without a handbrake, they just want to cut, right? They want, they want to fire up that saw, get going, cut what they need and, and carry on with their life. But there's quick and easy ways to fix these things. Let's get these things running for him safe and, and ready to head back to his place. I'm going to show you guys that, that you don't want that happening, friends. You, you, you don't want that run on happening like that. So I'm going to show you how we fix that. What was this? The run on, the chain running on. Oh. Yeah, you don't want that. So I'll get our little tool because <coughs> it's running too fast. So make sure we got we got a guy here that uh, was the only man to get this Ford dump truck of mine running and driving, and he's back. <laughs> he hasn't slept in two weeks, he told me. <laughs> he has not slept. Yeah, that's why I look so haggard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Cool. Is that an add-on? Yeah, it's a, well, no, I, I, I don't think so. I like it. This is great. Look at that. Little screen. This is awesome. Husky's awesome, man. You know that is probably a little vent. There's some gumbo on it. Yeah. Yep. I uh, <clears throat> I should have done what you. I think. Did you coil that up last time? Uh, or, yeah, I did when I was here. I you you did a good job. I didn't. I had it out again. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, you noticed it was running on, right? Everybody? Here, let's put you on the side here like this. This will give us a little bit better. Of a, yeah, so you notice, friends, it was it was running on. We know this saw runs. We don't need to, unless you want me to get that thing running and get it dialed in, too. Uh, Probably should. Well, sure. We're here. Sure. So <coughs> would you mind throwing gas in this thing? There's a gas jug right in the back of my Merc or on, uh, no, it's in the back of the Merc. And we'll get that thing dialed up so that when you go home, you'll be all set and rocking and rolling. Okay, so friends, my inclination is that this thing is, is okay. I'm going to fire it and then tune it because I, I pretty much know I can tune it without. So let's, let's do this. Let's fire the sucker up.
So friends, just so you know, what it was is that it was it was pretty fat. It was running pretty rich, and that's usually you know what happens when you get us off in the shops a little fatter. It's just good. It's good to have lots of fuel going in there, but you know over time it's it's nice to keep them tuned in there. So all this was was the low jet was turned up a little too high, which kind of leans the fuel out, and then it starts to run on. So if you open that low jet up. She's gonna she's gonna fatten up a bit, but you may have to counterbalance it with it with the idle. You see, that's a nice running saw, friends. Very nice running saw. These old huskies are great. So I tuned it up for you a little bit, uh, Morgan. I gave you a little bit more high jet, just a touch. And once you tighten that chain up, uh, it and and that's a great saw. That'll hold a bigger. It looks to me uh, that you got to take your bar off. And clean the bar rail uh, oils out because it's spewing oil out here. Oh, yeah. That just means your oil's hitting the bar and coming up over top. It's plugged up. Yeah. So I'll just take it off, clean it apart. I would yeah. flip the bar, yeah. and uh, and you'll be golden. Yeah. And see all this side to side. Mm -hmm. A guy could even this thing will pull a longer bar than this. Yeah. Twenty eight would be just mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. Twenty four, twenty eight, just be ideal. That way you can just stand like this. Yeah. No, it sounds really good. I like the sound of that. It's, they, these have got a great sound. Yeah, thumping sound. It is. Yeah. The, these were great saws. <clears throat> so that's that. This will throw idle down a little bit too when you put that back on. Yeah. And then of course it'll need a scrub. Yeah. Now what did we have? That 66. morning calisthenics yeah that's about it too bad the ford wasn't this week you were pretty determined there that's that's just maddening like yeah it, it's 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 so it wants to run i know so friends there, there was no fuel in this thing at all none it was bone dry and how long has it been sitting a couple of years a couple of years okay well that would explain it so I, instead of just sitting there and pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling, friends, I just, I just cheat. We know it's got spark. Okay, friends, you remember what we did the other day where we pump, you, you ever had this happen to you? Right pump away. a little gas in her, prime it, pull it, it starts, it dies. Pump it, prime it, pull it, it dies. Pump it, pull it. You ever been through that scenario and then you stop after about five or six times and you're done? Watch what happens. Oh, it could be bad carburetor. So here's the exact thing I was talking about on my last video, friends. This is it. This is what I do in a scenario like this. Okay, so that means, so the regular scenario is, okay, we're thinking we got a bad diaphragm. We very well could. We, we absolutely could. Let's try it again. Let's give it a touch more fuel so that it runs just a little bit longer and hopefully not floods. Yeah, like that. Okay, so you would think that that would be enough to, to suck fuel through that tank, you would think. But it's not. So, guys will do that four, five, six times and then they stop. Well, I'm gonna show you something. Watch what I do. Okay, hang on a second. Things are coming to me here. It seems to me that okay. there was more than just a chain problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, for starters... I was having a bogging issue, I think, with that saw. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take a shot in the dark here. Interesting. 
I think we have a, a diaphragm issue, to be honest with you. Friends, when you get it to fire and semi-run on its own, just sit with it. Don't, don't start slamming it full of fuel with your finger. J just wait for it to see what it'll do. Listen to it. It's the only way you'll find out what it's doing. Just sit with it and nurse it along. good saw it it's it, it does lack compression because of its last issue but you know what there's nothing wrong with this yeah. thing it's it idles good it's not sucking air it, it idle is your tell toll story of the tape here when you get a saw to run and get it idling if it'll idle solidly it pretty much gives you the indication that you don't have any air leaks uh i mean that's a, a round statement but but i i i think it's great let's try a restart Runs great. So, I think your low jet was turned off. Yeah, maybe. Like off, that's yeah, why it wouldn't yeah, yeah. pull fuel. Weird, eh? I was probably messing around with it. Yeah, well, that's what happens, guys. We, we get in there, we try and... Because it, <clears throat> it, it does something when you turn screws on these little things. Mm -hmm. Something will change, eh? And you'll be like, hey. <clears throat> Go. Done. Success, friends. We may not even do any edits on that video, eh, friends? So I don't know what'll happen. Mart, um, me and Morgan are going for the Ford. He's dying and itching. You can tell, look at him, eager like a weasel on the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go do that. Friends, thanks for watching. I love doing this stuff on the tailgate with my buddies. Uh, you know, it, it, it's like me with this truck. I don't know what's going down. He does. With the power saws, you know what? I do. So this is how we do this. Thanks for watching. Work hard, friends. Be honest. And most of all, be kind. Catch you on the next one. Bye, Morgan. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>